hello guys welcome back to ses ltd deals if you are new here make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on ses software i'm back with another review and today i'm going to review sidekick browser so on sidekick you can create multiple workspaces and then you can add team members to your workspace you can also log into multiple accounts on a single platform for example if you have multiple accounts on facebook you can log into all of them on sidekick and use them at the same time and sidekick is currently available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. The regular price is $500 but at AppSumo you are getting this tool at only $49. Now let's have a look at all the plan and features. So you can create multiple workspaces, you can add multiple app accounts, there's split view, password sharing, custom web apps, you can create unlimited sessions, sidebar apps and tab sessions. And these are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. The tier 1 costs $49 where you can have only one user. But on the tier 2 that costs $99 you can add 5 users. And each user will get their own workspace. You will get access to the pre-installed apps. There is built-in VPN. You can also assign team roles. And there are also going to be shared apps. And there is also license tier 3 that costs $209. On this tier you are going to get all of the features of tier 2. The only difference is the users. You can add 20 users instead of 5 users. So if you want to buy Sidekick Browser on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. Also, if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Watch the full video till the end to know how. Now let me take you to Sidekick Browser. So once you install the browser, you have to sign in and I have signed in using my Google account. So once you sign in, you can also import the login data, cookies, bookmarks, history, extension of your previous browser on this page. So all you have to do is just click on here and then you have to choose from which browser you want to import the data. So it could be Chrome browser, Brave or even Mozilla. And once you select the profile from here, you have to click on import. After importing, you have to choose the web apps that you want to keep on this left side on the sidebar. So as you can see, these apps are already selected. You can also select more. For example, if you want to select LinkedIn, just click on this and then you have to click on continue. So here is the Sidekick browser. And as you can see, you can also invite team members to join your workspace. So if I click on this, so here's my workspace. This is team workspace. There's also going to be private workspace for each of your team member if you invite them. So now if I want to invite someone, just click on create team and then I have to provide their emails. I can add multiple emails with space and then I have to send them invites. And on the left side, you will see all of the custom apps, custom web apps. And keep in mind that web apps, these web apps are very different from visiting a certain websites. These are not just bookmarks, they are literally apps. Let me show you the difference. So let's open a tab, click on this plus and then on Google, I'm going to search Skype and let's go to Skype.com. So this is how Skype appears when you open it from a browser, when you type this address and then you go to the website. So this is the home page. Now you can also sign in from here. But the app, the web app, it is very different. Let me show you. So now let's open the Skype, the web app. Okay, so here's our web app. So now if I go to this skype.com, as you can see, it's different. So on the app, you will get the actual experience that you usually get when you download an app. And on the browser, you can browse certain websites with their URL. And now let's add some more tabs. Okay, so now we have two tabs and there are also some tab settings. So these are the default tab settings that you usually get. You can also move this tab to another session. I'm going to show you what session is in a bit. You can create a new task. You can reload this. You can also pin this tab, mute this site. So if you mute it, you are not going to get any notification from this tab. And about the tab, you can also change the view. So if you click on this, you can also change the tab view to vertical tabs. Now let's close the tabs. And as you can see, the web app of Skype, it is still open. In order to close it, I have to right click on Skype and then I can close. I can also use this shortcut as you can see CTRL plus W in order to close it. So let's close. And remember how I told you that you can add multiple accounts on a single website. So for that you have to use these web apps. For example, I have two Discord accounts and I want to use both of them on a single browser. So all I have to do is just right click on Discord. And this is one account and I can also add another account. So all I have to do is just provide the nickname, the URL and then click on add account. So as you can see, this is the number one account and this is the account number two. So on this page, I can have my second account and I can have the first one on here. 
So this is how you can add multiple accounts on a single site. It could be Gmail, WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, wherever you want. So let's close this Discord app. And these are not only the apps, only the social sites that you are limited to. You can also add more web apps. For that, you have to click on this add application. And here are all of the popular apps. So you can add any of them. Just click on a certain app and then click on add application and it is going to be added. And just like this, you can add whatever app you want. As you can see, here is a big collection of a lot of apps. You can also add apps from a certain tab or you can also add apps in a custom way. So all you have to do is provide the URL, the name and the custom icon. Then you can add the application on the sidebar. And on the bottom left side, there are also a lot of other features such as this notification feature. So you can mute notification from this browser for one hour or until this night or until tomorrow. And there is also a very cool feature which is block all distractions. Let me show you this feature. So what this distraction feature does is you can redirect one site to another. So as you can see, these are some of the distractions rules that are already created. So if someone tries to go to youtube.com, they are going to be redirected to Google dot com google mail gmail so this is exactly how distractions are going to work you can add a custom distraction web link so first you have to provide when i go to which means when you type a certain url where you are going to go you have to provide that on this box so this is very important when you want to stop wasting time on sites like google instagram so you can create some redirection rules such as for youtube you can do that or for instagram you can do that and once you do that you have to make sure you activate this distraction blocker and once you activate this you can also keep this blocker activate on certain days certain days of the week and on certain time and then on this notification we also have this focus mode so as you can see now we are in focus mode and in order to exit the focus mode you have to press ctrl shift and f on your keyboard and then there are a lot of settings that you can change so obviously the first one is appearance you can change the theme the sidebar settings also the height address bar height icons time format the photo background the background photo that you want so you can customize this on this section there is also ad blocker so you can turn it on and you can also see how many ads and trackers it has blocked you can also add some whitelisted website to your ad blocker so that sidekick will not block ads on those websites you can also see this cpu monitor so here are all of the cpu monitor settings and then there is tab suspender so you can suspend tabs to free memory if you enable this feature and you can also add some domains or website on this list and if you do that those sites are not going to be suspended when sidekick is trying to free up your memory and then there's this privacy settings so obviously there's this vpn and if you turn this vpn on you also have to accept their terms and conditions now you can turn the vpn on and you can also use vpn by default on certain websites such as canva open ai so there are multiple websites on here so if you select any website from this list they are going to be opened with vpn by default and there is this fingerprinting defense that is going to prevent website and trackers to recognize your browser among other users there are also some other settings you also have distraction blocker that i already showed you then there are some integrations and also you can see all of your accounts and their details on here and there is another feature that i really like about sidekick so for that you have to click on this and this is the task manager so you can add your regular task on here for example for today i have a task which is called so this is my task for today as you can see i have added this now i can start the timer by clicking on this there are also some other options such as I can snooze this task to tomorrow, next week. I can also select this task, add new, edit this one, start or stop the timer. Or if I have completed it, I can also mark it as done or also delete it. And obviously the timer, just click on this and the timer is going to start. You can also save and hide the timer or reset the timer. And once you have completed the task, just click on this. And as you can see for today on this down section, this task is added, which means you have completed this task. So this is really good. You have got a very good task manager on this Sidekick browser. And there is also this collections where you can import bookmarks to your collection. And then there is also another feature that I really like. That is this sessions. So click on this 
and the session tab is going to open so currently i have only one session so what is session exactly session is very similar to window the window that you open on a browser but it is also different from that for opening a window you have to open a browser literally a new browser so if i show you let's open a new window so as you can see now i have got another browser so i have two tabs on my computer but sessions is not like that so this is one session i can add another let's click on this let's name it untitled 55 now i have two sessions so as you can see this session is now activated i can also activate the new one just click on this and now this new one is activated so on this session now i can open some websites so for example let's go to a website on this session So as you can see, I have opened three tabs on these new sessions, which is this Untitled 5.5. So these tabs are going to remain on this session. Now I can also go to the previous session, just click on activate. And now as you can see, I have come back to the previous session. And now I can once again go back to the new session and all of the tabs are going to remain open. So this is exactly how sessions are going to work. You can also add more sessions. So now on this session, you can have some certain tabs. And the other tabs on other sessions they are going to remain open so i think this is a pretty useful feature and another cool feature that i want to show you is the speed view so you can use multiple tabs you can open multiple tabs at once for that all you have to do is just click on this split and now with this tab with this current tab i want to open another tab that is going to be this business insider so as you can see now i have opened two tabs at the same time so here's my current tab and here's the new tab that i opened i can also increase or decrease the size of a certain tab by clicking on this so this is amazing you can browse or you can work on a particular tab and also keep another open for your convenience and since it is a chromium browser you can add all the extension that are supported on chrome browser so if you click on this as you can see these are all the options that are very similar to chrome browser and if you go to this extension you can also visit chrome web store and from here you can add any extension as you want for example i want to add this quill bot so all i have to do is just click on add to chrome add extension so now let's go to this extension bar and as you can see this quill bot extension has been added now i can also pin this i can manage this i can also manage the other extensions just like on a chrome browser overall i think sidekick browser is an excellent tool it is a chromium browser so you are getting all the features that you get with chrome but there are also a lot of additional features such as workspace you can invite your team members and each of them will get their own workspace and you can also collaborate with them you can also add multiple accounts on a single website there's task manager you can mute notifications you can block the distractions in order to focus so overall i have to say this is an amazing browser and if you have the use case for this you can buy it from appsumo as a lifetime deal at only 49 dollars and if you want to do that make sure you check the link in the description below with this browser you are going to get all of these features and these are three tiers that you can buy from appsumo so if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. For that, go to the link in the description. And once you enter the link, you are going to get a pop-up like this. And on this box, you have to provide your email. Then click on unlock my 10%. And then you will get a link in your email. Go to that link. And this way you can get 10%. You have to use it from AppSumo Credits Gift. And this 10% discount is only for new customers. You can also join our SaaS discussion group on Facebook to get latest updates on SaaS software, exciting discounts and attractive giveaways just like this.